Oh, radiation. Right. Um, so, we're looking for a, a, a digging spot. And we're looking for a thing that clearly we didn't see. It. Oh, man. Okay, there's no more radiation. We're good. We're safe. There we go. And the audio sample. Gabriel's bark. And a little bit of sunset sarsaparilla. But we don't need that. Time for violence. You have found a recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox. Yeah, what violence is this that you're talking about? Oh, my minions. Sting them in the name of all. So, you recover the sonic emitter schematic. Here was it the frequency. No matter. It'll broadcast your screams as my robo-scorpions destroy you. Mm -hmm. All that is Mobius. These things are powerful. Robo Scorpion, attack! These things are proper powerful. It's a good thing we're not gonna have to fight too many of them. You're no match for science. I'm. You are. I am a hundred science. Go, my minion. Sting them in the name of all that is Mobius. Yeah! And yes, it's the Robo Scorpions making that noise. You won't escape me. I think I did it. I think I did it. They don't have anything either. There's a little locker over here. But yeah, there's nothing here. This is what we saw from up there. Huh. How about my bones? I have doctor's bags. So we're good. Let's get out of here, I suppose. Eureka! What? I don't know her. Go, my minion! Sting them in the name of all that is Mobius! Ah, I couldn't do the power attack. But that didn't matter. Because... I'm really powerful. They hurt me when they blow up. And also, they are very loud. So, did I do everything here? I think I did everything here. There's something over there that we didn't go to for some reason. Possibly because it's behind... Oh, no. No, I want the melee ones. What? Science. That is a good line, honestly. That is not. Where's the other one? That's a big one. Hey! No, it's a normal. Do you think the other ones were just tiny? They look so cool. If I had one of these in real life, I, I would have one of these in real life. I don't think we came this way. No? We didn't come down here. Oh. The splicing facility terminal. Biomechanical splicing rules. Number one. Due to recent government mandated cutbacks to our funding, only three experiments may be performed per day. Number two. We do not have infinite kennel space here in X8! Exclamation mark. Only one cyberdog beyond those needed for the testing process may be created. Number three, clear any and all debris from the platform before conducting any splicing experiments. Number four, experiments are not allowed outside of the X-8 facility. And I believe that's the results of the experiments. Number five, finally, security must be disabled before experiments can be run. And I can splice a robot in a dog. I can splice a lobotomite in a dog. And I can splice a, lobo a lobotomite in a robot over here. Not in that order, I just was reading on ahead. So a lobotomite and a robot probably makes... What would a... What would a lobotomite and a dog do? Let's make the first thing to... I mean, we're gonna make it make them all, obviously, because we're heartless, cruel creatures. But, uh, I mean, Ma Marty is, at least right now. Because we're exploring. But... What do we have down here? What's that? Just beer? Oh, that thing is broken. Everything seems to be pretty broken. That one's not, though. This locker has six bottle caps, which I cannot believe it has, honestly. 
There's blood down here, though, so that might be related to why that thing exploded. Uh, excuse me, can I be here? I know you ele electrocute me. Anyway, let's find out what happens with the last one. So let's try the lobotomite and the dog. Because I don't know what that would be. That would be nothing. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. Well, I know what the other ones are. Let's start with the easy to kill, the uh, clear splicing area. Oh. I was gonna be like, I, I don't need to clean it. Oh, I also don't need that, but sure. Uh, let's try the robot and dog. Yes, there is a dog. A friendly dog? Roxy! Hey, Roxy. Hi. Come with me, girl. You're not allowed outside of the facility. That's what the... That's what that line meant. Even though, literally, the line doesn't mean that. It means that you're not allowed to experiment outside the facility. I think she's gonna blow up. Well done, child of violence! Technologies will be safe. No! Machine head perk has been gained. Go, my men what? There you go. Is a on the green pipes. If you are standing on the green pipes, please get off them at once. <laughs> so the dog didn't come out. But I also don't think it exploded. No, dog is here. Hi. Hello. What are you doing, dog? Okay, heal. I don't actually know what heal means. Why the hell are you just standing there? Move! Hmm. I don't know what to say. Machine head. You grind the gears of the machines and gain a damage bonus against robots. Okay. So... I might as well just clear it again. Don't know if that gets rid of Roxy, though. Because, you know, I can't clear it. I, I, mm. Let's do... So we have the robot and the dog. And uh, let's get the uh, lobotomite and the robot. I think this one is going to attack me. It's not the right type of robot. Who am I? I... Feel different, awake, alive for the first time ever. What is this strange new world around me? What does it hold in store for a dreamer such as myself? No! Right. A little bit unstable, it seems. Very whimsical. What does it hold in store for a dreamer such as myself? Oh no, Roxy's still here. Good. I don't know why we had to clear the thing, but I guess that's that. This also will allow us to go back. Well, we should probably go back to the... Oh, that is definitely... We should go back up to the sink balcony or to the sink because I want to see what we have up here. Sir's accoutrements are precisely where Sir has left them, and should the toaster say otherwise, I remind Sir that it is a waste room. You, Sink. Might I be of service, Sir? I don't know. I, did, I don't need anything else. Very good, Sir. Actually, wait a minute. Might I be of service, Sir? The trading. Very good, Sir. 
Should Sir be in the market for a new suit of morning wear, I have several suggestions that might suit. Morning wear. I just want to sell all my crap that I have no need for. Just getting a bit of money, you know. Book shoot. I did something with a book shoot, didn't I? So did I store things in here? No. There's already stuff in there. I thought I stored my things in here. No, but the mentats are nice. That's my spine. Here is your spine, without a brain stem to snap it on to. Here it floats. Your back doesn't feel any different from the spine's removal. If anything, whatever was placed in there makes you feel stronger. Yes. And also, this is probably where my brain should be. And this is my heart. Yes, this is your heart. Apparently, cranial surgery complications required its removal. And until your brain is returned, your heart can't be trusted to keep beating in your body. Or your, your new heart seems to be working just fine, however. I'm actually pretty sure the brain doesn't control the speed of the heart. I think the heart... I think? I'm not a cardiologist, obviously, but... I might be wrong on that. Yeah, I really thought I had uh, left some stuff over here. But apparently, I didn't. I did! It was in the fridge! Right. That's what it was. I oh, know. Oh, I can't drink from the sink. Personality files damaged or missing. Insert backup holotape to restore files. Well, I don't know what things I have. Ooh, more mentats. Jukebox. Ooh, yeah. yeah, dig that sweet music. Damn, it's good to be back online. What's your purpose here? Dig, I'm an acoustical wizard, kid. Old Doc Moe used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Get me a good sample base to work from, and I can whip up a wave that makes Jericho look like a kazoo. Can you do anything like that for me? Got yourself a sonic emitter, don't you? Thought so. Bring that old thing on in here and bring me some sound samples and I'll make that baby sing. Or scream, <laughs> if that's what you want. I found many things. Uh, I found a sound wave file for you. Right on, daddy-o. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet, sweet sound. Sound file Opera Singer available for the Sonic Emitter, Gabriel's Bark, Tarantula. I want to recalibrate the Sonic Emitter. Right on, Daddy. Let's spin some grooves. And give me one of your Sonic Emitters to recalibrate. It's the Re Revelation. Is that the name of the Sonic Emitter? Yeah, maybe. No, no, no. It is not the name. It's what it was doing. So let's go with the Opera Singer. I don't know what that's going to do, but hopefully it's fun. What's the haps? Do you play music? Mm, used to. Long time ago. Then old Doc Moore ripped out my music drives and stuck in more acoustical processors. Guess you could say I got the blues, even if I can't play them no more. It's kind of funny that... This game, this DLC here, I don't think we're going to deal with a single living person throughout the whole game. Or th throughout the whole DLC. But it still has a lot of NPCs. Certainly more NPCs than that money has. I'll talk to you later. Get you later, Gator. Because Blind Diode Jefferson over here is just one of them. Still don't have the toaster. Ugh. <sighs> Well, how about that? Old Auto Doc's back online. Well, all right, come here. Let's have a look at you. Well, he ain't the fittest horse that ever ran a race, but he don't appear in immediate danger of keeling over. I can patch you up if you want. Yes, uh, that would be fantastic. Also, he drinking hopefully. Can you heal any? Uh, do anything beyond healing? Well, firstly, I would say providing wholeness of the body is service enough, but if you must know, I'm also programmed with cosmetical subroutines. Diagnostic says they're offline at the moment, though. Something about corrupted data files and all manner of such foolishness. 
If you want a haircut or a nose job that won't leave you looking like a ghoul with alopecia, you'll have to find replacement discs for them. Also, and I won't swear to this, but I recollect at some point having a few implant installation modules. Can't speak to where they got to, though. I'm feeling a little unwell in the head. Can you perform a psychiatric evaluation on me? Concerned about the state of your mind, are you? Well, such things ain't my specialty, but I'm happy to tender my opinion as to your mental health. I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive. That is, this only works once. Now, are you sure this is what you want? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Just try to relax. This won't hurt, unless your sense of self is especially vulnerable. The Autodox Psychiatric Evaluation will allow you to redefine the traits you selected when you created your character. You may only do this once. Once. Are you ready? Are you sure you want to proceed? No, no, no. I, no, I don't want to. I'm good with the ones that I chose. I chose Wild Wasteland. And I believe Skilled? I don't even know what would happen if I... Hey! The C-13 is now available for surgical... Or implant C-13 for surgical installation. You require some additional services? I... maybe. I'd like to engage on your ser or your services in general. And rightly so, I should think. Alright then, let me just fire up the old interface for you. This prototype autodoc is capable of performing a thorough ex a physical exam and curing the patient of all common ailments, radiation sickness, lacerations, broken bones, even chemical addictions. In addition, it can also give haircuts and perform co cosmetic surgery. Uh, let's, the, let's do a basic physical exam. Oh, oh that's scalpel. This scalpel. Okay. You require some additional services? Yes. Install implants. Plus 10% Casador damage. It costs 8,000 caps. Is there a limit to the amount of implants I can have? I would guess not. And there it is. 8,000 bottle caps. That's kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot. But I'm good because I have way too many of them. <laughs> I have... A uh, hundred thousand. So let's get some water over here. Some Yaogwai steak. Oh, a single Yaogwai steak is going to set me forever. I don't even need it right now. But I'll still eat it. And, uh... and we're good. Okay, what else? Refrigerator this is not personality. The hot plate is not a personality. Biological research station does not have a personality. And I think that's it. And the sink, obviously. Okay. Well, um... So, I want to go... We have a bunch of quests here, specifically. Return Gabe's bowl to Dr. Boris. Oh, we could do that. Well, we didn't return Gabe. But Gabe was very upset, so, you know. Boris! I have amazing new bad news. Bad news. I have bad news. Where are you? Is that you? So, you put down Gabe. Thank you. A scamp, but really, his highly augmented combat programming could have proved meddlesome. In any event, thank you for putting him down. One less test subject to catalog and sort. Clearly a failure of Doggy's cyber engineering. Is, uh, is this Gabe's bull? Your dog from X8, Gabe? What? Why, yes, it is. I used to leave it outside his doghouse, chock full of cans, before the cybernetic modifications, of course. And no matter how cammed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even, even while I, I... You know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my biogel. I can't quite pin it down. Sounds like Gabe really loved you. Why, yes. Gabe. No matter how awful my day had been, he... he was always waiting there. How odd. My gel is decoagulating. 
And when I would talk to him about Betsy, and how Marcus would beat on me and call me smarty sissy pants, he'd just sit there, head on my knee, and... If you don't mind, I'll take that ball. Just need to remove it. Put it away, somewhere out of radar range. For some reason, its similarity to the crater shape of Big Mountain is starting to fill up all available cognitive spaces. That, combined with my own overwhelming feeling of having done something terrible, the two were hitting me with unexpected force. It sounds li to me like you hurt someone who loved you very much. As odd as it is, I believe that is the conclusion. And I wonder why it didn't hit me before. Until I saw that memory in your hands. This sensation is unpleasant. I don't care for it. I don't care for this place either. And I feel as if we've forgotten something. Still... It is no matter. Crush the feeling down. Crush it down. Push it into the loop. The... Hmm. Yes. Forgotten. Almost. Yes. I do not need to remember anymore. Not today. Okay. We've spoken enough. Until next time, then. I'm glad I came here. Mobius! I think that's Mobius. It makes sense that it would be, doesn't it? So we need to find the key to the X8 kennels. Hmm. Let's do that. Since we're messing with the kennels right now, I need to go to the big mountain right here. So... What I'm thinking is that I definitely want to go to the Y-17 medical facility. But apparently it's to the X-13. Yes, because we read in the X-8 that uh, X-13 had the key. So, okay, I was pressing 3 and nothing was happening. Guess what? It's now the opera singer. It doesn't sound much different, or any different, at all. We have sterilizer glove. Drain... Drain microfusion cells and some casings. I'm not 100% sure what we're looking at here. Places to sleep, though. Mmm, there's a... There's a tape on the other side. It's a patient log. Y170. Could this be related to Christine? This is Christine Royce. Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. The Circle. Not going to make it through this. Hope someone finds this message. Gets it to the Brotherhood in the West. Tracked a rogue Brotherhood elder, Elijah, here to the Big Empty. <sighs> Places more than it seems. There's a crater hidden deep inside. Junkyard of pre war labs scattered across the crater's surface. All still running. Like this one. Elijah's dissecting these centers. One by one. Tracked him to an old Chinese-American internment camp. Survivors. Ghouls. Have bomb collars. Robots moved in when I tried to intercept him. Elijah sent the camp ghouls against us both. Like walking bombs. Got hit by the explosions. Woke up here. Guess the medical robots were programmed to bring wounded victims from the camp to this center. Some kind of autodoc prototype lab. Manned by corpses trapped inside suits that keep them moving. No idea why. Not sure how long I'm going to last. 
Cut open my head like a lot of the humans I've seen here. Feel strange. Can talk, but can't hack the term. Wait. An explosion outside. Someone's here. Someone... I was gonna say midway through that, um, that message that the courier must have come to save her. Why did he do that, though? Why did he save her? Because, you know, we found the other, the other message from them at the beginning. Anyway, that's gonna be that. So, we need to go to the other side. Let's go back to the think tank. So we have that place. And we have that place that we didn't go to. Oh look! The green! The green pipes. This is in a transmitter antenna array. X2. Climb up to the satellite dish and retrieve the X2 antenna. Hey! Oh. Use of deadly force is in progress. Please is take it? cover until the danger has been eliminated. Okay. There we go. Oh. Unable to continue. Yes. Um, there's another enemy somewhere. Even further up? What a curious level. Mentats, obviously. Attention. Hi. This is now a combat zone. Aww. You may suffer harm up to and including death if you remain in the area. Well, he disappeared. Oh. Sorry. I was gonna say he disappeared from the area. He's still here. What is this? Foot lockers with ammo. Which is very important if I used it, which I don't. Also, this is the way up. Also, I'm gonna need to sleep. I'm just now noticing. Not a problem. We have plenty of food. What a lovely place out here. We can see for miles. Or two miles. And there's the... Wait a minute. What is this? These are the... I hope I didn't leave my giant robo-scorpion all. That thing eats power like no tomorrow. Well, I hope you didn't. There's just some graves over here. You'll need a shovel. Oh! Magical shovel. Hmm. Hmm. The cuckoo's nest. I... Oh, it's this place. It's just a bunch of junk. And some graves, admittedly. Huh. What's the meaning behind it being a cuckoo's nest? I wonder. Hey, what's up? Why are you fighting? I don't even know who you are. Oh. There's a teddy bear, a lunchbox. What could that be? 